Hallelujah. Amen. We give glory to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Charles, for this great honor. Thank you for grace, this great church that God has given you that love to give me this honor to share with you. I want you to know that today, every one of us will have a divine encounter. Amen. Amen. I, I didn't say some of us. Yes. I didn't say some of us, including our children. Yes. yes. We have a divine encounter. Amen. Do you know what is an encounter? Yes, sir. An encounter is to meet somebody face to face. Mm -hmm. When we talk about a divine encounter, it is that you will meet God face to face. Amen. Amen. An experience you have never had before, Amen. you will have it. Amen. God is the Almighty. Yes. God is real. Yes, sir. And the world doesn't know that. Yes. People don't know that. Yes. But we know. Yes. And when we begin to speak the word of God, God shows up. That's right. The theme of this revival is manifesting the glory. Yes. And the resurrection power. Yes. And bless God. Thank you so much. That a man of God that came to minister to us in worship. You are truly in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Because the words that you brought through this ministry is the message God has for us today. Amen. Amen. I want you to open up your heart. Yes. I am not here to give you a sermon. Yes. I'm here to deliver a message from heaven. Amen. That's correct. I'm here. I'm not here. I'm yeah, I came from Chicago because that's where God just placed me now. <laughs> but I am sent here from heaven. That's right. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, is the one that sent me. That's right. A special message. Yes. The message that I'm giving you today, I didn't copy it from anywhere. That's right. God delivered that day to me. Yes. I told the man of God that even when he came this morning to beat me, God was still speaking to me. That's right. So many things you're going to receive here will be revelation. Amen. Can somebody do your, your face like this? Yes. God will open your eyes. Amen. Amen. When God opens your eyes, you will understand mysteries. Yes. When Jesus came into the world, the people didn't know who he was. Yes. Even the people he came to, they didn't understand him. When he spoke to them, he spoke in parables. That's right. They didn't understand. But those that came close, the disciples, he called them, and he made known to them those mysteries. Mm. Next week will be Easter. That's right. And in Christian calendar we celebrate thank god for what we have yes it's good that we celebrate this thing to remember that these things are real that are not the yes. stories that's right they happen really on earth that is correct right. jesus talking about jesus is not fiction that's right it's real <laughs> he lived as a historical figure but he yes. wasn't just a historical figure that's right he was the anointed yeah. that's right the anointed meant that he is the one god appointed yes Amen. this is my king in the world, the savior I've appointed, there is no other one. That's Amen. right. In the world today, there may be many names, many religions. Yes. But let me tell you, mm. they are not real. That's right. Mm -hmm. And also, they don't have the proof That's that right. they are real. Yes. Even the people that proclaim those religions, they say it because they've been taught, they've been told. Yes. They don't have the proof. Yes, Lord. Many people have lived as prophets in the world, claiming to be the Messiah. They didn't have the proof. Yes. Jesus did not just preach that he is the Son of God. He didn't prove. That's right. That's why he raised the dead. Right. He cast out the demons. He healed the sick. Yes. And Jesus had not been duplicated by any man. None. It is only those who believe in him and who have faith in him yes that reaches out to the anointing and the grace that he has and they are praying to god has commanded that's right yes. that's why god has called you today yes not only will god restore and revive your life from today god will anoint you amen. the same anointing that was on christ amen. we put also on you amen so amen. that means that jesus did you, 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 right. you, myself, that's correct. All of us will do it. Amen. That's the spirit of revival. Amen. Amen. Revival is not just to get us. That's why. Right. Revival is to get us in power. That's why. We can begin.
begin to rule. That what he said. I will rule. I will rule. Now can you now say a king? Can you say I will rule? I will rule. When you become a king, you rule authority. Yes, right. That's what God will help us to receive today. Yes. An encounter. Yes. Abba, Father, we surrender ourselves to you. Oh yes. Father, I say I'm not here standing as a man. I stand yes. here as your vessel. That is correct. And I ask you today, Lord, glorify yourself. Yes. Father, may I never say anything you don't want me to say. Yes. Amen. May I never do anything you don't want me to do. Yes. But all you have desired for your children today, do it through me. Oh, yes. Every word you have desired to speak to your people today, speak it through me. Amen. Spirit of God, take over. Yes, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Yes, Lord. Bless your people. Let everyone's life here be restored. Yes, Lord. Let everyone here be saved. Revival. Yes, Lord. Let anyone that he needs salvation be saved. Oh, yeah. Let anyone that needs healing be healed. Amen. Let anyone that needs deliverance be destroyed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let all receive the fullness yes. of the work that Jesus came here to do. Oh, yes. And let him and him alone be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Let me sit there for a while. Yes. I'm speaking today on the thing. Manifesting the resurrection power. Yes. Now taking my text from the book of Colossians the 2 and reading verses 14 and 15. The book of Colossians chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Having cancelled the charge, can somebody say cancel? Having yes. cancelled. Hmm. Having cancelled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us, he has taken it away, nailing it to his cross, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. This is what Jesus did by his death and resurrection. When we are talking about Easter, because this is the season, that's right. I want you to understand that it's not just about the story, it's about the reality of what God did, and that reality was done in the realm of the spirit, which is supposed to matter in our world is supposed to become our reality on a daily basis. That's what God wants to open our eyes. That's why I told you to take away the scale. That's why. Right. That's why. Right. So that you are now seen in the spirit realm. You are understanding the truth, the reality, because many people still don't understand today. The resurrection power is the greatest power that has ever manifested here on earth. Amen. Amen. Because that is the power that destroyed man's greatest fear, man's greatest terror. And that terror is death. <laughs> death right. is the greatest terror on earth. Yes. Every other problem you have in the world are uh, what I call the attendants and the messengers of death. Can somebody say attendants? Attendants. Yes. Can somebody say messengers? Messengers. Yes. They are all in the army, in the host yes. of death. Yes. Sickness is one of the messengers and attendants of death. Diseases, afflictions, bondages, every problem you have in the world, they are in the company of Satan, out of death. Death goes around with them. 
Death does not come without them. And once they come to you, it means that the main enemy that is coming after you is dead. When somebody gets sick, you know who is after you? He's dead. Then it comes as sickness. When you come into poverty, poverty comes against your life. The main person after you is dead. But he sent poverty as the messenger. Every problem you have in life, they are all attendants and messengers of death. They are all working for death. That's why the devil has power on earth because he is the one that comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. The resurrection power we are talking about today is the power that conquers death. Amen. And every, anything that conquers death has conquered everything that came with death. That's why. Right. That's why today the power that is going to manifest here is the power that will destroy death. Amen. Amen. So now when you now see that's a why. power that will destroy death, you yes. know what you will do to cancer. Yes. You will just give cancer. That, that's cancer. correct. You know what he will do to arthritis. He will give arthritis a backhand. <laughs> but you know what he will do to any kind of poverty. You have struggled with poverty all your life. The power of resurrection destroys death. Every messenger of death is small, too small. Kings of knew the power he came with on earth. That was why whenever Jesus stood before anybody with any kind of sickness, it didn't worry Jesus too much. Because the person who can defeat death will dismiss sickness, disease. And that's right, that's right. And let me tell you so somebody is going to carry that power himself or amen, herself. Amen, amen, amen. From this service today, you are going to carry that power. Amen. Amen. And that's why your life will change forever for you. Somebody stand on your feet and shout hallelujah. Ah! Understand that Jesus came here to the earth. Yes, this resurrection was a knockout blow. Uh -huh. That's right. Do you can you imagine when some heavy weights deliver the knockout blow? If you go to your TikTok, they will be repeating it over and over to show that. That one blow that made the enemy sisters and never recover. Yes. The resurrection of Jesus is the greatest thing that has ever happened against hell. Yes. And Satan will never recover. Amen. Amen. Because he restored man's destiny, yes. which was lost in the garden. That's right. He restored it totally. And he made our victory irreversible. Amen. That is right. And if you will win the victory it. of the resurrection, right. you will win in all your battles every day until you leave this world. You That's will right. win every day. That's right. Somebody stand on your feet and shout. Yes. I want you to understand something. I want to build something up before the Lord will release power today. Power. People will carry power today. But before, I want to establish your foundation. Please. You see, my head. Death is the greatest weapon of Satan. Hallelujah. Because the main reason why death became so powerful for the devil is not just because death means a cessation of life. You know, when somebody dies, life is gone. That's why when people are struggling, people are but when you see somebody die, people begin to cry yeah. because life is ceased. But let me tell you this the greatest thing about death yeah. is not just cessation of life. That's right. The greatest thing about death is that death separates man from God. Mm. God is the main source of life. Every beauty in man 
was because of God. Without man, without God, man was rubbish. Yes. How was man created? God took rubbish, eggs, dust, molded it into shape. You can imagine where your children play with the sand and they put the sand together. <laughs> what? You know, it's only for a little fun and you go home and you kick it down and you forget about it. But it was when God breathed into that. Shut up. Mm. When God put that so on into shape, Marie it was so when God so breathed into so that man. So yes. That man mm. rose up and became man. Yes. Mm. Became alive. Yes. And let me tell you something. Don't ever think that when God breathed into man, that it was, he breathed into him just colorless gas. You know the air you breathe is colorless gas. Mm -hmm. H2O is colorless gas. Mm -hmm. Don't think that that is just what God released mm -hmm. on Adam mm -hmm. when he molded him. Mm -hmm. That's why they tell you that. Oh, man is an animal. We are like goats and mm -hmm. gorillas. Mm -hmm. We are not. Mm -hmm. We are not. We may look, we will have the same physical structure. We may have the same biological structure with animals, but we are not animals. We have the breath of God. The breath of God is the life of God. Hallelujah! The breath of God is the spirit of God. That's right. When God breathed into Adam, God released God into Adam. Adam was carrying God. You were created to carry God. Amen. Mm. You were created Mas, to carry God. Preach it, preacher. And because God Mas, is almighty, so, God Mas, is king. That's why. God is authority. Yes. God is power. That's why. Adam was created to rule. That's why. He had dominion. <laughs> he had authority. Right. Because he had everything about God was released into him. By the spirit of God. That's the anointing. That's right. That's the fire you are talking about. That's right. In your song. That's right. And Satan knew that. Mm -hmm. And Satan knew that he had no power over man. Yes. That's why the only instrument he used was deception. That's right. Can somebody one more time? Do your eyes like this. Take mm -hmm. it with the scale. Catch some divine revelation. <laughs> Amen. Let me tell you some things. The greatest destroyer of man is not Satan. <laughs> it's sin. That's correct. It's sin. Mm. Your greatest problem mm. is not your bank account. Mm -hmm. It's not sickness. Mm -hmm. It's not disease. That's why right. those are small, small things. Yes. The greatest problem of man is yes. because God created man holy. That's right. Man was connected to God because mm. of the spirit of God in man. Yeah. And as long as remained in that righteous state even said I had no power over him. That's right. I'm going to I'm going somewhere. Understand this. The main thing the devil wants to take from you is your crown to rule. Mm -hmm. Because that crown to rule came on you because of the righteousness of God in you. That's right. When the breath of God is in you, yes. God breathed his life, yeah. his spirit, his yeah. righteousness, his virtue on the first man. That's right. The first man was perfect. That's right. Nothing was impossible for him. Yes. The first man connected to God. He was so loved, jealous that God doesn't, heaven doesn't contain God enough. God will come down on earth to fellowship yes. with man. Right. 
the re relationship was close. That's right. Man was always God's boast. The, the best, the masterpiece of his creation. Yes. And where was the devil? And God was speaking to me in the last few days. Mm. Explain God was beginning to me. Even things I didn't know. Mm. Mm. God began to open my eyes to scriptures. Mm -hmm. Where was the devil when man was created? The devil was in prison. Mm -hmm. Where was the prison? Mm -hmm. The prison was in the lower part of the earth. Mm -hmm. And the name of that prison was hell. Mm -hmm. When Satan rebelled against God, Ezekiel 28, mm -hmm. God drove him out of heaven and cast him down to the earth, mm -hmm. to the prison that God created for him. Mm -hmm. Satan was a prisoner. Mm -hmm. A prisoner has no rights, no authority, nothing. Yes. Mm. When man was created, Satan had no power. That's right. Had no authority. He was a prisoner. Mm -hmm. And the angels that fell with Lucifer, they were in prison with him. They were called prisoners. Yes. And if Adam had remained in the way God created him, what in the right of that God delivered to him, Satan would have remained in prison. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these things happen in this world. Yes. And people begin to blame God. That was God. It was it's not it, God is never the problem of anyone in this earth. Mm. The problem has been man <laughs> because of our irresponsibility, mm. because of our failure. Satan had nothing. Man had everything. Mm. But you know something? There was a war that took place in Eden. Mm. Satan came with nothing. Man had everything. All that the enemy goes with went with was deception. That's what the devil still goes with against us every day. Man was made in the image of God. Yeah. But the devil deceived him for him to think that there was something he was lacking. That's right. Mm. Told him that you can be like God. Mm. You can be like us. Mm -hmm. What is beautiful about the devil you want to be like? Mm -hmm. So why do you like sin? Mm -hmm. Sin belongs to the devil. Why do men still continue to sin? That's why the Bible calls sin. Foolishness. That is correct. Is it better to be like God or to be like the devil? Mm. Is it better to enjoy the blessings of God or to stay with Satan who is a priest? Mm -hmm. Satan gave Eve an offer in hell. Mm. He said, if you will eat of the, if you will disobey God, mm. If you will bow, 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 bow. Let that word bow be in your heart today. He, he brought it out prophetically in his song. That's what the devil wants you to do. When you, if you bow, because we were made to rule. But when you bow, you cannot rule again. Yes. Kings don't kill us. Kings don't bow. You were created to be a king and to rule. You are not created to bow. Yes. Right. So, and because Satan used deception, that's right. Yeah. Cunning, yes. Craft, mm. and tossed in my coin. coin. My coco seed. And count yes. his coin he yes. tossed to Eve. Mm. Eve. And he wanted to eat it to be like God. Yes. yes. And what happened? The crown. That God gave, you know, the man of God read it at the beginning. God crowned him with glory. Yes. The crown that man was given in the beginning, oh. Satan took it. Oh. Mm. Every power Satan has in the world today, mm. everything the devil did in the world today, he got them at the garden. That's right. Before then, he was a prisoner. Yes. Mm. The demons that people are afraid of today, we are all. Prisoners in hell. But in that encounter, when man bowed to sin and to the will of the devil, man lost 
the authority. He lost his righteousness, mm -hmm. his right standing mm -hmm. with God. And everything that came with the right standing, he lost it. And Satan got it. That was why even the devil was able to boast to Jesus. Yes, right. He's been given to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Satan, who was supposed to be a prisoner, yes. ended up a king in hell mm -hmm. and a ruler on earth. Mm -hmm. That's why he doesn't even stop there. Satan keeps enlarging his territory mm -hmm. every day. He calls himself the god of this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even in the spiritual atmosphere in the second heaven, he's called the prince of the power of the air. The Ephesians the two verse two. Yes. They're all in scriptures. Yes. yes. Satan got all those in hell. And the greatest weapon he got against man in hell was the keys of death and hell. That was revealed by Jesus himself. Yes. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, yes. the keys of hell and death. Yes. Satan got that from the conquest he had against man. Mm. Let me tell you this story. Every time you're facing temptation, it may look simple. There's a warfare. And Satan is aiming at your crown. Mm. Mm. Your power to rule. Mm. You were created to rule. Yes. You were created to be that whenever you wake up, whatever you say, when you see kings, kings don't do too much acrobatics. Man, they can see it. Kings will yes. sit. Yes. And the issue orders and that directives. is correct. And when they issue orders and directives, there are powers around the Remo kingdom. Kingdom. Remo 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 Yes, yes, yes. If the king wants the whole of these streets <laughs> with a lot of lights and everything, yes. The ruler will just make the order. Mm -hmm. And there will be many powers. The water authority will go and do their own. The, uh, the, 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 the police will do their own. The fire people will do their own. Because the king has said. That's why. We are not supposed to struggle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's correct. You know who they are angels? Angels are the ministers of God. That when you speak, when you wake up in the morning and you prophesy over your day. And just are supposed to take, go out and execute them. That's right. You have an appointment somewhere. Then you will start home and you decree what they will say. Mm -hmm. What we do, what they will do. When you decree it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you are going there, angels are working so hard to make sure that before you arrive, right, the woman is Hallelujah. Every time you are facing temptation, yes. Satan wants to rob you of that authority. That's right. And if you bow, you lose the power. That is right. That's right. But if we can just rise up. Oh. And stand in righteousness. That's why. Right. So we can take our power back. That's why. Right. Satan has wrecked us for so long. Mm -hmm. If I look at my families, what the enemy have been doing again? Members of my house, not my immediate family, people around me. That's why. Right. A lot of pain, a lot of suffering, terrible deaths, mm -hmm. sickness. Yes. Afflictions, troubles, all these are attendants. That's right. Death. That's right. Yeah. And death came because of sin. Yes. I would say the wages of sin is yeah. death. I mean, is it? It's not for sin. Mm. It's not for sin that we know death. Yes. It's not for sin that we know sickness. Yes. That we know affliction. All the troubles you have around your neighborhood. It's not for sin that we know. There will be no more here. Mm. Mm. Satan got that victory over man. That's he right. took the keys of yes. death and hell. That was the greatest pride of the kingdom of darkness. Mm. In the spiritual realm, keys represent authority. Authority, authority to rule. Yes. So with the keys of death and hell, Satan had power yes. over the earth yes. to rule mankind. Yes. Torment anybody in your own troubles. Bring yes. a lot of Mysteries, yes, turn neighbors against neighbors, yes, they will turn families against families, yes, they kill themselves, yes, nations kill themselves. Do you know human beings kill themselves with what human beings have created more than warfare? 
more than sickness. Yes. When you talk about ammunition, do you know that your country, our country, we spend more on military warfare. What do you to kill people? More than what we spend. That is correct. To feed ourselves. That's why. Right. That. <laughs> because of wickedness that was in the world. That's why. Right. It's because of Satan's coming. Mm -hmm. He has the keys of death and hell. That's right. And with that key, Satan has dominated the world for generations. Mm -hmm. You know, God is a loving God. Amen. Amen. When the fullness of time came, yes. God sent his son. Yes. He sent his son for the mission of reversing that verdict of the Garden of Eden. Yes. And destroying the power of Satan to rule us. Yes. Especially the power of sin. Let me tell you this. Sin is the greatest enemy we have. That is correct. The greatest problem in your family is not, it's not somebody is sick. It's not there's no money. No, no, no. Those are small, small things. Even when Jesus came into the world, people came with different kind of sickness. He healed them easily. That's right. But to deal with sin, mm. it wasn't easy. Mm. You think it was easy for Jesus to deal with sin? He had to face the cross himself and had to die. That's right. See? How to tell you how powerful sin is. Mm -hmm. That's why the question is, if Jesus died because of sin, to save us from sin, mm -hmm. why is it that we're going back to it? Mm -hmm. oh, and you see, you are never compelled to sin. Mm -hmm. Sin is a surrender of your will. Mm -hmm. That is right. Sin means you have bowed. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And you have a choice. Not preach it, preach it. Yes. yes. Man, yes. And that was why. Man, so Jesus came That's why. The of the earth. Yes. You see, God, He was born by virgin. Yes. Jesus came like every one of us. He was a baby. Don't think that He was a super baby. He was just a baby. Like your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, God, God didn't really just drop Him yes. on earth. He came as a baby so that everything you went through, he went through the same process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jesus came to prove to us, we don't have to bow. Yes. Amen. We don't have to bow. Hallelujah. You don't have to bow. I don't have to bow. They live. Holy perfect. Yes. And then, when he was touched, he was baptized. Too. Before his baptism, Jesus didn't perform miracles. Mm -hmm. He lived like you and I. Mm -hmm. But he had the spirit of God in him because yes. he was born of the spirit. Yes. He was just like every born again Christian. Yes. But on the day that he was baptized, he was anointed and anointed without measure. Without That's right. That's right. Yesterday. Yes. He was anointed without measure. Yeah. Do you know what happened in that? event. You need to understand. That's why. Somebody, can you please one more time, open your eyes like this. They can open your eyes to understand secret things. Yes. Because it is kind of secret things that make you powerful. That's right. right. Nobody that is powerful today, even the rich people, they are not rich by what people know in the common place. They right. don't Google and then you become suddenly great. Yeah. The people that become great, they get something that others don't get. Yes. They understand something that others don't understand. Mm -hmm. So that's why I go into this ministry because God wants you to become an extraordinary person from today. Amen. Amen. That as you step out of this hall, even demons that will see you will run. Amen. Amen. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Now, what happened? When Jesus was baptized, God Himself confirmed it. The Bible said the heaven was opened. Literally. The Spirit of God came upon him in the form of a dove mm. and abided on him Lecro. permanently Masekete. without measure. That's why he was anointed. Mm. God brought through that through this is the anointed one. Mm -hmm. God had had many anointed vessels. Mm -hmm. Moses, Abraham, talk about it, Joseph, mm. Elijah. But he is the one, Christ is the one anointed without measure. Yes, right. Mm. The one that the anointing gave him every dimension and every measure 
of the glory and power of the Holy Spirit that everything that God can do, he could do it. That's right. That's why when you come with a problem to Jesus, you don't ask, uh, is he really, does he, has he mastered this area? You see, when you want to go to doctors, I have doctors here with due respect, they will ask, what's his special, specialty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's her specialty? Yeah. Then you want to know whether she, he can help, she can help. Mm -hmm. Even in that special area, he's still living there. Yes. Mm -hmm. A neurosurgeon may not know what is happening to your eyes. <laughs> and I have met some doctors that are so great, so great, slowing me. And then I told you, I have a problem with my ears. Yeah, you have to go to an ENT doctor. <laughs> They're not specialized. Right. But Jesus! Oh! So yeah. He has it all! Yeah. That was what he had <laughs> on yes, the day yes. he was anointed. Yes. Yes. Now look at him, look at him. Yes. He was the declared by that as a messiah yes. and by that he was made the king of god's kingdom on the earth that's right now Man. look at that look at yes. that look at that and now in that moment by that anointing he received a badge of keys Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. it's Amen. called the keys of the kingdom Amen. Amen. because he knew that on his mission on earth he's going to the work that jesus came here wasn't just that he came to live no, no, his mission was about kingdom against kingdom. Yes, mm -hmm. There was there had been a contest on the earth. Who must rule? Mm -hmm. Satan got the power mm -hmm. in the garden and has continued to rule the world and ruin it. Yes, right. mm -hmm. And he has ruined it so terribly that people began to cry. And God, although man has sinned, but God is a compassionate God. Yes. His heart was taught, and he said. Man needs a savior. Mm -hmm. Man needs a deliverer. Yes, Amen. I need to send someone from my kingdom. Yes. Amen. And I want to give it the full authority and power. Amen. So Jesus came on that day, and Jesus received yes. by the anointing that came on him on that day. He got the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Now there were now two kingdoms of on earth. That's why Satan was having the keys of death. And hell. Yes. He was still working and oppressing, manipulating. The gates of king yes. with the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Now, the works of the devil was manifest on the earth. Mm -hmm. But the work of Christ began. Mm -hmm. Because before death, that was who yes. people didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says he went about doing good. Mm -hmm. Everywhere that Jesus went with the keys <laughs> of the kingdom of heaven. Glory! Heal the sick. That's correct. Yes, the day. Yes. He cast out devils. Yes. When they brought to him people with different kind of affliction, yes. the Bible said he healed them all. Yes. yes. That's, right. Oh. That's right. That's right. He has solution to every problem. Yes. yes. And he keeps giving us the choice. Which yes. kingdom do you prefer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it the kingdom of darkness? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That price with the key of hell and death, mm -hmm. going with the attendants mm -hmm. and messengers of death. Mm -hmm. We can't stand the afflictions, you know. Oh, I don't know when I have shared this with you. <laughs> September 21, oh. 2021, oh. I got a diagnosis oh. for one of the top hospitals in Chicago, Stroger Hospital. Yeah. That's the biggest in Chicago. And they say you have a rare form of leukemia. With that kind of disease, you don't have more than 20 months. Mm. In this country, it's about 200, 2,700 people who could have that disease. Mm. And it was as if you should begin to count your time. I smiled out of that place and said, I have a covenant of life. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. I went to some battles. Jesus. Sometimes I have to be rushed to the hospital quickly. Mm -hmm. to, there was a lot. Then I had to go through chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My king showed up. <laughs> See what kept them keep on talking of me pumping and pumping. So I said, no, don't pump it anymore because I, I saw that I was getting weak. They won't be nothing but the first time they started the chemotherapy, things reversed. My blood reversed, counts reversed. The negative blood was not seen again. The positive ones were growing up. 
But they kept on pumping one to tell me everything was going. And I said, no, no one again. I need a second opinion. Then I went, they took me to the Rush University of the Thomas, the Rush University Hospital, Thomas on Cancer. The day I was there with a team of doctors and their nurses and all the specialists, and the director looked at my face after studying my details. He said, I'm on your side. Hey. He says, Say, sir, I'm on your side. You don't need any more kidney. Amen. Because he said, the disease that you have doesn't respond to treatment. That's why. But you all have responded. Oh my God. Oh. Therapy. No. And he says, the only thing is that you see, you need a time for the good value blood that have been destroyed by the chemos to recover. Therapy, that they to recover. That's right. But that you don't need chemotherapy. That, that, you're not going to need chemotherapy for a long time. Amen. And he said, because they've already designed the, the bone marrow transplant, because they tell me the only thing that would give me 50 50 was bone marrow right. transplant. Yes. And they have already gotten to people to make donations. Yeah. And then the man now suddenly told me, if from the transplant, oh. it's no more an emergency. Yes. Mm. He said, because, he said, he said, he was now reasoning with me. He said, because even if the disease returns, yes. we will just do what we did before. Oh. And he go back. We don't need to do a bone marrow transplant. Because when you do a bone marrow transplant, by the time they told me, he said, first three months, I'm going to be in the hospital. Yeah. The next three months, I'm going to be in the special room. Nobody's going to be at home. Nobody's going to be there. Only one attendant so that I don't get any infections. Yes. For then the next six months, I'm not going to walk. I'm not going to, so for me to get back to normal life, it will take about two years. Hey. Hold on, buddy. That's the part. I will not take the option of Satan. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. So, Amen. I stood on the ground. Mm. Today <coughs> is about 24 months. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I've not had any chemotherapy. I've not had anything. Yes. And let me tell you this. Amen. I am bubbling in strength. Amen. 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 Every time I meet the devil in pain, yes. I give him what we call one. That is a knockout. Glory, 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 glory. Yes. Child of God, sit down, sit down. I will wrap up soon. If you will not bow, you will not That's right. You will not bow. You will yes. Not when Jesus was anointed, yes. the first thing the devil did was to swoop on him. The Bible said the devil, the spirit of God took him to the mountain. Yes. There for 40 days, 40 nights as he was fasting. Yes. The kingdom of darkness came. They know. Satan knows. He has no power over Jesus. Whenever they see him, they will bow. But the only thing they want to do is they can get him to bow, then they can hold him. Mm. If the devil will get you to bow, then you will rule. You may be praying, you may be a prayer warrior, you may be a man of faith. But if you will bow to sin, Satan can still rule you. That's why. The greatest enemy of my life and of your life is sin. That is correct. That's why Jesus came. Yes. If we can accept that victory over sin and walk with it, then Satan will have no more power over our life. That's right. That's right. Now look at it. Jesus, Satan tried. Many things. Jesus will not bow. And then Satan brought out the last card. Mm. He took Jesus to the top of the mountain. Mm. And Satan showed him. That was it. All the kingdoms of the world. Yes. And the powers, the glory of them. And he said, All this has been given to me. Mm -hmm. He said, if you can just bow, wow, mm. you don't need to come and suffer. Yes. You don't need to all this. You, don't, you will, I will give everything to you. 
If you be bad, you know what? Jesus knew so it was kingdom against king. kingdom. Wow! Satan was a man king. not so playable with the keys. The key that's why. That's why. And by that key, has ruled the world. That's why. But Jesus knew what he got in the anointing. Mm. That's right. He got the keys of the kingdom of God. Yes. And he knows that God's kingdom operates through the pathway of peace. Mm -hmm. Not violence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not destruction. Mm -hmm. That he was determined. That's why. Say, I will not bow. Yeah. Can somebody say, I will not bow? I will not bow. If you can say that every day to yourself, yeah. I will not. When temptation, you face yes. violence, if you can say that confidently, yes. you will see that in your mind, you will walk in victory every day. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Death reigned through one man, the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5. Yes. Through Adam's sin, death reigned unto all flesh for all have sinned. That's right. And the Bible said, righteousness came. Yes. Uh -oh. So the finish was of Christ. Mali ko sheke sheke. And you can walk with righteousness. Yes. 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 Christ standing with God. That's right. If God, if we will live that life, that will make God smiling for us every day. Amen. And Satan will never do it. Amen. Amen. If God can be smiling to God every day, yes. Satan will never rule your life. Amen. And it was when Satan went to that limit, Jesus, first of all, told him, I can only bow to one person. God. You can only bow to God. You must worship the Lord your God, and He only can you serve. That's right. Never, but I will never bow to Satan. Amen. And then for the first time against Satan, Jesus exercised the authority of the king. He said, Be gone, Satan. Amen. Immediately he commanded the devil, he left. Amen. Amen. If you will not bow to the devil, mm. you will have the authority when you command the devil. He will quickly. That's why. No. That's why. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that was why Jesus lived his whole life on that mm. ruling. Everywhere he encountered Satan, he dismissed him. That's why. He threw him out. He healed every sickness, every disease. And even when people died, the greatest, the most terrible enemy of man, dead, Jesus reversed it. Amen. And then one day. Mm. Can somebody say one day? One, one day. day! He came to the contest and the battle that took place with the death and resurrection of Jesus yes. was the greatest battle ever fought. Wow. Wow. The greatest. Because Satan's kingdom put in everything they could to win. They have tried in the three and a half years of the mission of Jesus Christ to get him to bow. So that they can get one little advantage over him, but they, they couldn't. And then they have to now do everything. They could. I could imagine the kingdom of darkness do the greatest mob of their demonic armies, bringing them all to Jerusalem. And everything, let's destroy this man. Can you imagine how it seemed that the devil was saying? He was able to get even the high priest. The high priest is supposed to be the representative of God for man. Yes. As a priest. Yes. He got the high priest to get involved with falsehood. Yes. Mm. So the, the high priest bowed. Mm. He got one of the disciples of Jesus to betray him. Mm. He got him to bow. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, the devil did a lot. Yes. He achieved a lot. Yes. He got. When, when they went to pray, in the garden, yes. he took all the disciples <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> 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 what was that? That's all. Oh, oh, my God, oh my God. It wasn't that few of them, some slept, some. Yes. You know, even if you can no, no. some night vigil, you see some people will sleep. You see, some people will sleep. Just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it happens in some night vigil. Some will sleep, and some will be awake. Why do 
Whenever you there is a broken message going on and sleep is coming. So demons are walking. That's why. Once you sleep up, you wake up. Then they go to somebody else. If they want you to sleep, you sleep in peace. But you just to strike. Mm. That's what they got the Jewish Sahedrin to mop up some gangs mm. to come and arrest Jesus. Mm. So they were succeeding. They arrested him. Mm. The demons were saying, oh, We're doing well, we're doing well, we're doing well. Even when they began to try Jesus, they were. There is some of those religious people. Mm -hmm. Tell this lie, make this accusation. False lies are being made. That is correct. And then they went from came. One of the henchmen, the disciples, Peter, they got him to deny Jesus three times. Mm -hmm. The demons are working. Yeah, that's right. And then they even got the Roman authority. After they analyzed all the things they said, this man is still not, even with the accusations, this thing is not still punishable to death. <laughs> but now they go up to and say, crucify him, crucify him. And just because of the fear of the people, the Roman authority compromised. <laughs> so the wow. And then suddenly, they condemn Jesus. <laughs> They say, crucify him. Then the soldiers Who? took all the whips. Who? They began to beat him. They began to beat him. That's right. So the devils were so sad. That's right. They were so happy. Yes. And they took him and nailed him to the cross. Who? And then they came into a time when they brought a murderer. And they said, Who do you release? They said, Ah, the Barabbas for us. Who? Crucify Jesus. So the devil was succeeding in his mind. In his mind. <laughs> And then they put Jesus up on the cross. Mm. And then suddenly there was darkness everywhere. Yes. The Bible said it was darkness for three hours. Yes. Eclipse doesn't come for three hours. Yes. Uh, it tells me that on that day, the entire demons of hell must have come down to Jerusalem. That's right. He said, we, we don't want to make any mistake of this. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure he dies. Because death is our greatest power. Mm -hmm. If we keep him dead, then we can kill Lord Jesus Christ. Because on that cross, Jesus carried the seeds of the world. That's right. So when the devil saw Jesus carrying all the sins, so the devil said, now you can see we are succeeding. Mm. Yes. Here <laughs> on the cross, his blood was shed. That's why. Right. Hey, come on, let's see that. Hallelujah. When the blood of Jesus was shed, the devil didn't understand. <laughs> but in the presence of God, some messages came from the blood. Mm. Hallelujah. By that blood. Mm. Every sin that man has committed, mm. including the sin that gave Satan power in the garden, mm. was atoned for. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> you see, sin is against God, not against man. That's why. And I have sinned against you, but if I do sin against God, then that's not my problem. It's just not that I need to settle with you. Mm -hmm. But even if I settle with you, I didn't settle with you. The thing that matters is God. That's why. When the blood was shed, although people were accusing Jesus of the cross, but the Father knew. Yeah. The demons got the wrong guy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow! Trap! 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 You don't give me righteous advice. Yes. Because yes. God will never allow you yes. yes. But the devil thought he was succeeding. His blood was shed. That blood was for you and me. That the blood that set us free. Set us free. Don't have power in the world of God. I know you. Don't hurt your family. That's right. 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 That's right.
by the blood the Bible says Hebrew chapter 2 14 and 15 he destroyed him that had the power of the dead he destroyed him that's right and he freed those who because of the fear of death have been all their life subject to bondage yes subject to bondage yes, so to bondage. yes. on the cross yes when Jesus said it is finished yes the devil thought he said Good. I am finished. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that wasn't what he said. He said, I'm finished. And he said, It is finished. What he said was, The demand of the Father has already been made. Yes. Hallelujah. So Satan's authority to rule is gone. That's why. And Satan's authority to maintain the power of death and hell was taken away. Amen. Satan's mission on earth was defeated by the death of Christ. Amen. What is supposed to be is that Satan should go back to prison where he belongs. That's right. And right. should rule the world. That's right. That's why everywhere I go, I go after the devil. That's why. Right. Any country I go to, I go after the devil. That's why. Right. And I cast out demons everywhere. That's why. Right. I was meeting somebody. Somebody the devil said, said I have been holding this family in bondage for 400 years. I said, doesn't matter. <laughs> I have come as God's servant. It's time for you to go. Your mission is over. That's right. Hallelujah.
Move over to the grave. Yes. On the first day, I could imagine the demons of hell yes. celebrating. You know what they were doing to Hitler? When Hitler thought he would rule the world, they said, Hey, Hitler! I could imagine all the demons coming down to hell where Jesus was sitting on the majestic throne. And I said, Hey, Lucifer! Now you are the conqueror of the world. Now you are the conqueror of everyone. First day came and passed. Second day came and passed. That's right. The devil was still celebrating. The demons were still celebrating. When the third day came, I could not pass. And the Bible says in Timothy chapter, second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. He said, The Son of God was justified in the spirit yes. that God declared him. Not guilty. That's right. Uh -huh. He was carrying sin. Yes. But he was not the one that could get the sin. Yes. Because he did not bow. Yes. He was rather to rule. That's right. And that's why. When the Son of God, the light of God, shined into hell. That's why. And raised Christ from the dead. Yes, right. Now let me now give you a chance to imagine what happened in hell. While all the demons were celebrating, yeah. giving kids, jubilating, shouting, playing their rubbish, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. And suddenly, they saw Jesus alive. Yes. He went down 
to the paradise that was under the earth, the place where Abraham was, the place where Job was. Job said, I know my Redeemer did it. Although I'm dying and I'm going to go down to the grave, but I know that my Redeemer did it. And in the end time, he will come again. Yes! Though if my body will be eaten off by wolves, by wolves, but in my eyes will I see. Amen. They were all waiting for the Redeemer. Yes. Suddenly, oh! Jerusalem, they began to hear a sound. 
they began to hear a sound. And that sound, they couldn't understand it. Mm. They couldn't interpret it. Mm. They began to hear They were hearing to ring or see the It was these people that he defeated before. Mm. All these people he defeated before. Many of them now are like disciples. They were not watching. They have had an encounter. Because as Jesus went to heaven, he sent back the Holy Ghost. Amen. He sent back the Holy Spirit to anoint these disciples who will not bow. Amen. They, they were in one place praying. They were in a prayer mode. They were not going like gossiping. That's right. Looking for what to do and street people immorality. No, no, it wasn't in their midst. Because you don't know, do the stay, they stay together. Stay, keep yourself consecrated. If you can stay and not bow, the Holy Spirit will come on you. That's right. And when the Holy Spirit comes on you, he said, What I am you will become. Because the day he appeared in the Bible said, he breathed on them. Remember, when man was created, that's why right. God breathed upon man. That's why right. now, ah, Jesus, of my Lord and my God, receive the spirit. Receive, the spirit. receive yes. what Jesus released in them was who he is, mm -hmm. the power he had, yes, his authority. Yes, he released that on them, but he told them, Stay in Jerusalem because the mm. manifestation, 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 yes. in this country, manifestation. He said, the Manifestation will come when I get up there. I will release the spirit. So thank God. He didn't stray. God is telling you, child of God, don't stray. The spirit of revival is to get you into God. Yeah, that's right. Amen. You don't stray. The problem with our uh, we call revival today. We have a bodily frenzy, mm -hmm. emotional frenzy. That's right. And we go back and go back. <laughs> Then we jump over us again. But they stay together in one place, in one accord. Then the Holy Spirit came. That's why they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Amen. Can somebody say fire? Fire. Can somebody say fire? Fire. Can somebody say fire? Fire. Because the fire will do two men walk in you, purify you within. That's why. And they empower you without, mm. so that you can execute the power. Now, Korea, Master Chairs and Korea, they say, I've got to heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the yes. demons thought yes. that the earth was not empty. Mm. They can come and override it again. Mm. And when they came, there were 100 of the disciples in that place. Mm. And they were speaking mysteries. Oh, my God. And the Holy Spirit was speaking in heavenly language. The demons could not understand what they were saying. That's right. However, every tongue that was coming out of God was giving them deadly blows. That's right. Deadly blows. Deadly blows. The demons were falling. The demons were falling. It's not enough for you to have a dangerous weapon in your hand. The way you cook your gun and treat it is important. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, good evening. <laughs> but you pray with power. The demons know you are carrying from the dangerous. Right. As they were praying and praying, the demons were being locked out. And until they were able to sneak through to look. Oh. So let me look for Peter, the one I deceived. Fire. Yeah. When they looked at Peter, you know what they saw? They saw Christ. Amen. Amen. He said, so let's, let's leave Peter. Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew. Uh, Matthew was carrying fire. They saw him in him. Jesus. Yeah. So let's go to Thomas, the one that always doubts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Because we thought that Jesus has come to help many videos now. But now it was 120 Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. God. My so pray when we finish. Finish suddenly. Man, you see that. What about Jesus? Yes, Lord. The Peter that they did before. Peter that lied before. Now stood up. And Peter began to preach. And the preaching of the same people that killed Jesus. And that was like, let me get these people to kill him as they killed their master, as they killed Jesus. No, they couldn't. Mm-hmm. At the end of that preaching, 2,000 people bowed mm-hmm. to Jesus. Yes. And as they came up and were baptized, all of them turned to Jesus. Hey. Amen. Glory. Glory. Every glory. Glory. Every time yes. you give your heart to Jesus Amen. and the Holy Spirit comes upon you, yes. in the spirit breath, you reflect Jesus. Yes. Right. Bible says that God in Christ. Yes. Yes. So what are you talking about? Mm. Child of God, I want to tell you. Mm. How long does the devil have to break in this state anymore? Mm-hmm. Don't we have more time anymore? Mm-hmm. Because we are so many. That's right. Jesus is here. That's right. Yes. We need to guide you out. Yeah, Jesus said, I'm going to That's right. That's why. Right. Are you standing? Oh, my God. Yes. Lock him up there. Yes. Lock the devil off. 
yes, in your life, in your family, in your business, yes, concerning your health. Yes, Lord. I want to tell you here, yes, if the devil is telling you any rubbish, yes, that there is sickness in your body, tell the devil, today is your last day of telling me that. Yes, not only will I not have it at the end of this meeting, I will never have it again in my life. But they say it is in the family. They tell the devil, I belong to another family. I belong to the family of Jesus.
righteousness. I receive your pain. I receive your pain. And your sacrifice. And your, and your blood, and your blood, the atonement for my sin, and, 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 and your stripes, I receive my healing. I receive my healing. From, today, from, from today, from today, I declare in your presence, I I my, my body is your temple. My body is your temple. Never again. Never again. Will my body have sickness? Will my body have And disease? And you see, because, because by your stripes, by your stripes, I have been healed. I have been healed. Never again. Never again. I have been sickness. Every sickness in my body. Every sickness in my body. Now must go. Now must go. Now must go. Now must go. Anyone that the devil has touched, I have been healed. I have been healed. I have been healed. I have been has to keep me anywhere in the, in the future in the will future. never come to my life never never come not come only for me for my children for my, my, children. my children's children my children. Children. My children. so we live in the covenant of righteousness in Christ, in Christ. In Christ. Thank, you, thank, thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Jesus said to the disciples, I will even give you more. The promise of the Father. Yes. The Holy Spirit. Yes. And we have heard today that when the Holy Spirit comes on you, that Holy Holy Spirit comes with fire. Yes. The Holy Spirit gives you the anointing. Yes. It gives you the grace of God, the power of God. Yes. The same anointing that Jesus had without measure. Yes. Jesus said, as my father sent me, God sent him with the anointing. Yes. He said, in the same way I am sending you. Yes. Jesus breathed into them. Yes. So that as they breathe in, they will receive with the anointing without measure yes then we have the power to overcome every power yes. that jesus could overcome yes lord jesus could do everything jesus can could do jesus said the people that believe in me yes. the temple i will do they will also do yes jesus released that to them by the breath the manifestation came on the day of pentecost Power came into them yes. the next day peter came and nobody cried for it peter and john they got into work hmm. Miracle began to happen to the extent at a time when Peter will be walking, his shadow will be healing the sick. That's what the handkerchief of Paul was raising the dead yes. and healing the sick. Yes. Great miracle began to happen. Yes. The Bible says so mightly grew the word of God yes. and prevailed. Yes. The same power is coming right now. Amen. Now, what is going to happen? I'm, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen because it's going to happen. As an explosion. Amen. And it's going to happen in the life of everybody here. Yes. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is going to come. Yes. He is a promise of the Father. Yes. Because Jesus said, I have something more for you. Yes. You have received me. I'm already with you. Yes. The, the promise of the Father is coming. Yes. Is the anointing. Yes. The anointing gives you the wealth of the power of heaven manifesting in you yes. who is on earth. Yes. And what will happen, the initial experience is that you begin to speak in other tongues. But that's not all. It means that when you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. Amen. Some of you here, at the end, you may never have done it before. But when you go away from here, you get to walk tomorrow. Somebody is sick. <laughs> Just put your hand where the sickness is. It will be sick and become away. Amen. 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 Any prayer you pray, it will be automatic. You will be asking yourself, ah, it will be as if it's a magic. It's not. Yes. It is the real power of God. Power of God. Yes. It's coming. What is going to happen is that as we are going to begin to pray, the anointing will come here. Everybody, wherever you are, begin to speak in tongues. Yes. Even if you have not spoken before, yes. <laughs> there's always the first day. Yes. You will speak, you will not understand what you're saying. Don't, don't keep your mouth closed. Yes. If you close your mouth, you will never speak in tongues. Amen. But when you begin to speak, 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 even if you didn't know what you're speaking, the only thing we put it right. Amen. You begin to speak mysteries. But Amen. Explosion is coming, and you will carry that same anointing to your home. Amen. But you know how Jesus released that anointing? He breathed on them. Yes. Yes. So today, we are going to do something. Yes. We will first of all pray. Yes. And ask God, Lord, fill me today yes. with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Lord, fill me. 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 F
I want to be anointed. Not so that I will go and begin to show people my power. Yes. And begin to intimidate people. Anointing for special assignments. For you say, because from today, I want God to use me. I want God to use me. When God anoints you, he will reveal to you what he has called you for. But when we pray, everybody, you may not have prayed in tongues before, everybody begin to pray in tongues. The anointing will come here. There are some of us that may not be able to stand on you. But don't worry. Don't worry. Anything, yeah. something that gives you happen, don't begin to be afraid. Am I running mad? No, 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 no. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is here. There are so many angels here. Yeah. But what I see is too much. Yeah. Every sickness we have, everybody you carry before you come to this church will be carried away. Whatever is a terror, I will serve you. Your life will become new. You will carry a new vision, a new power. Because the Spirit of God is not you. I want to open your heart to God. In one minute, ask God, Lord, fill me today with the Holy Spirit. Even if you have been filled before, ask God for overflow. Ask God for overflow. No, Lord. Begin to pray that from today, I want to begin to live for signs and wonders. Yes, Lord. I want to carry the same power that Jesus carried. Yes, Lord. The same power that Peter carried. Yes. The same power that Paul carried. Yes. The same power that any yes. apostles. Yes. I want to carry it in my time. Yes, Lord. I want to be a yeah. way that revival has come again. Yeah, revival has come again. Yeah. I want to heal the sick to cast the devils. I'm going to say now, receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. And when I say it, breathe in deeply. And if let you breathe in deeply, you open your mouth, begin to speak. Don't think about how will I speak. Don't think, even think about it. Open your mouth, whatever is coming out of your mouth, begin to speak it. The definitely it will not be in your language. It will not be the language you've learned before. You just need to see yourself. In the mouth, in the eyes of people, you may look like you're talking rubbish, to be like skibbish, but the day of Pentecost, they heard many of them say, they are drunk. You may, some of us, when they are not because of you, you can see yourself as you are drunk. The Bible says, yes, you need that drunkenness. The Bible says, don't be drunken with wine as is excess, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are like a drunk person. Yes. Because the power begins to flow in your life as you never know before. That is about to manifest. Yes, I'm going to release the breath of the Holy And you breathe in. Oh, and the minute you finish breathing, yes, open your mouth and begin to speak in tongues. Don't even listen to your devil. Don't know whether your own voice is like this one. Your own. And the more you speak, you raise your voice higher. Raise your voice higher. Raise your voice higher. And you begin to see. Some of us, you begin to see yourself in the spirit realm. Some people here will see angels. Some people here will see Jesus. Some people here miracles may happen as you've never seen before. So if you if you had sickness before you came here, you will just look for this sickness. It has happened many, many, many times over. Yes, so the hour has come long. Yes, you are his son, Jesus Christ. You are appointed this day to visit this remnant. Yes. We carry the mantle of God. Amen. Father, I pray for this your children yes. this day. That you release upon them that anointing without measure. Yes. We Jesus receive for us. Yes. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. So that we part our generation. Yes. Our world is so full of evil and troubles. Yes. We cannot challenge this power of this earth yes. with ordinary power. Yes. With ordinary religion. Yes. We need your fire. That's why. We need your fire. Yes. So there, as I pray, release the power yes. of the extraordinary God. Amen. Yes. On this your children. The fire of yes, God. Lord. That every one of them will be for signs and wonders. Yes. Lord. That shows that the revival has arrived. Yes. And the power of God will multiply. Oh, yes. 
this whole city is filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. Yes. Amen. Father, send your fire. Yes. Yes. Send your fire. Yes, Lord. Send your fire. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am going to shout one, two, three. And then as God will say, receive the fire of God. Yes. Everybody, wherever you are, lift up your hand and begin to shout the fire of God. Don't even listen. And, and what, as you're shouting, they begin to expect that fire to come. Yes. And miracles are going to be happen. Don't worry about what happened happen in your body. The only thing is that at the end of this experience, you will carry something extra that will shake the gates of hell. Yes. One, 